So Wendy, you've been down here for three weeks in the house. Yes. Can you give us your impressions of your first of your freshman year in the house? What are you thinking? What's going on, et cetera? Well, it's exciting being down here. There is a lot to learn, a lot of new faces, a lot of new names to learn, but it is exciting. We have started getting into our committee meetings recently, subcommittee hearings and committee hearings, and that's where the real work begins. Um, and those have been exciting, and I've enjoyed that. Speaking of committee meetings, there was something that happened yesterday in one of the committees that you serve on, the Judiciary Committee. Can you tell us, and I believe there was maybe a minor altercation with another House member. Yes, um, the 24-hour bill, which would require a woman from the time she'd use an ultrasound to wait 24 hours before she could have an abortion. Um, that is something that is very important to me and I was very excited that we were able to bring the bill up. It passed out of subcommittee and yesterday was the full committee hearing and um, you know several people spoke for and against the bill so then when I had the opportunity as a mother of five I um, expressed my appreciation for the bill and as a mother and as a woman the um, once you view an ultrasound how it does change your opinion and I felt like the starting point for the 24 hours should be when the woman actually views her ultrasound. Another member of the committee um, wanted to take me to task on that and uh, we did kind of go back and forth a bit. He was arguing that I was going to ask a woman to come back two days in a row to have to have an abortion and I was requiring her to miss work where I feel, you know, we're talking about a life here and you know, if you can't take two days to consider a human life, then what is life worth? So it was a bit of a scuffle, but I um, think we answered his questions well. That committee member actually asked if you knew of a of a person who had a rape, uh, who was who was raped. Yes, he did. He confronted me and asked me if I specifically knew of somebody that had been raped, and I did, and answered him that, you know, even in the case of a rape. Um, while that is horrible and tragic and as a woman you know being that defiled is horrible there's still another human life involved and it still does not hurt to pause and take 24 hours to consider that other human life now you weren't the only person who voted down his amendment uh, if it's my understanding there were what four other women on the committee who served with you who voted with you on that Yes, um, I can't remember the exact vote at the end, but yes, there are several other women on the committee and um, a number of us, several of us did vote against his amendment. Now, you're a co-sponsor on this bill and this bill would require um, a woman to, if she has an abortion after she has the ultrasound to wait 24 hours. Yes. And, and currently, it's my understanding that uh, a woman has only to wait one hour before she has an abortion after viewing the ultrasound, right? Exactly. The current law states a woman must wait one hour. And if you stop and think about it, you know, you don't have your tonsils out, you don't even have your wisdom teeth pulled, you don't walk into the office, meet with the doctor, and decide to go have your tonsils out in 30 minutes. So any other medical procedure that is out there, there's usually a... Um, you know, pre-op or something where you consult with the doctor and then at a later time you come have the procedure done. So this is one instance where I think there's certainly no harm in asking a woman to talk to the doctor, get all the facts, view the ultrasound, and then wait 24 hours before she goes through with it. And now this isn't uncommon. I mean, 18, I think 18 other states have the 24 hour waiting period and one state has like an 18 hour waiting period. So it's right. not unusual to have. No, in fact, um, there was a little discussion yesterday as to exactly how many states. Somebody said there were as many as 24 states that do have the 24 hour waiting period. So it's not uncommon. Um, as a woman, I think when you view an ultrasound, you know, your doctor can tell you, yes, you're pregnant and, and you know it and you talk about it, but when you sit there and actually see that beating heart and that little life, I think it does um, make it a reality for you. And I think to ask a woman to view that and then to go home and really think about what she's doing 
for 24 hours is not much to ask. What other bills are you looking into with your freshman year? I know that there's several other coming before the Judiciary Committee, especially registration, I mean, closed party registration. Yes, closed party registration is something um, that we, my subcommittee is going to be taking up in the next several weeks. And that would ask people in the state of South Carolina to register by party. If you are a Democrat, you register as a Democrat. If you're a Republican, you will register as a Republican. And then when it is time to vote, hopefully you will make that decision 30 days out. Then when it is time to vote, you can only vote in that particular primary. Do you favor that legislation? Yes, I do, because currently um, you can vote in e either primary, switch back and forth, it doesn't matter. But I think it tends to dilute our parties and I think um, Democrats, as well as Republicans, would like to pick their own candidate. Wrapping up kind of here, what would you like to tell to the people of District 22? Um, have you seen a lot? Have you done a lot in the district lately uh, since you've been elected? Well, I've tried to be out um, and about. I appreciate your support. I ask for your prayers as we continue, especially with the abortion, the 24-hour wait. And um, just please continue to support me. And if there's anything I can do for you, no, I'm here for you.